So what we're going to do now is we're going to create patterns in Illustrator. So as you can see, I've got a few different van templates, uh, van shoes templates opened up. Um, and this is from our canvas from the assignment page. So what you want to do before we get started to make this easier on you in the long run is we're going to duplicate artboards. Okay. So let's use our artboard tool right here. Okay. And with this artboard selected, all you got to do is click on it and select. You're going to hold the Alt key. I'm just going to drag it over. And you just want to make sure that you have six total copies. Maybe you get too far. All right. So now I have six copies. And that's how you can edit your artboards. You can, once you click on one of these, let's say you want to, you want to draw one out. Okay, so let's say you want to make the artboard bigger. You can make the artboard bigger. You can make it narrower. You can change, generally change your artboard, the entirety of it. Okay, so that's using the artboard tool to edit your artboards. Now, I've got my six bands here. Uh, what I want to do is focus on this first one. So we need to make a pattern, okay? Patterns in Illustrator are fill colors that repeat. So if you come into your color, uh, your swatches panel, you'll notice that you have patterns in Illustrator, just repeated tones that you see in Illustrator, okay? Uh, so we have to create one because you're not allowed to use any of these for this assignment. Now, here's what you want to do. You know how to create different objects. So let's just create uh, a, a couple of objects. Let's create a little circle here. Let's make it green. Uh, let's make the stroke yellow. Give it a big thick stroke, just like that. Uh, and then let's edit and make some patterny looking designs. All right, now I've got this as a general pattern. So what you want to do is select all of your objects that's going to make up your pattern. You're going to go to objects menu at the very top. You're going to go to pattern and make. It's going to open up uh, the pattern pattern window, pattern options window. And you can name your pattern here. So this would be green dot pattern. You can change from a grid to a brick by row. That's going to offset your rows brick style. This is going to offset your columns brick style if you do brick by column. Hex by column is it will hexagonally put them in. Or you can go hex by row, which will hexagonally put them onto rows. Okay. Uh, here, the width and height, if you turn this so it looks like a lock and chain, they will center out space uh, evenly. If not, you can change the width and change the height that they're separated by. Okay? So just however you feel like making that happen, you can do it. Uh, then which way do they overlap? Do they overlap uh, left in front, right in front, top in front, or bottom in front? You can make it bigger by doing this, you know, nine by nine to make a bigger pattern so you can preview more. Uh, at any rate, once you have your pattern set the way you want it, you're gonna come to here and you click done. So I select green dot here in my fill panel. Now you'll notice it does show up, but it's very big. So you can move the pattern around. So if I click and normally move it, you see how it moves my shape. I don't want that. I wanna move my pattern, so I'm gonna hold in hold down the tilde key, and the tilde key will let me move my pattern. The tilde key is just beside the one on your keyboard, and you should see it right over here. Okay, now, I want to make this pattern smaller, so I'm going to click on my object, and then up here in the object, I'm going to go to Transform and Scale. In my Scale Options box, you want to make sure that Transform Objects is clicked off. Right now it's on, so we need to take this check mark out. When I take that check mark out, it's it's automatically going to 
check transform patterns, and that is fine. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that this pattern gets scaled back so we can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to scale this pattern way back, down to 8%, so it's very small. And I'm going to click OK. Now, if you come into this part of the shoe and use your eyedropper tool, you can select the same pattern. It'll have the same presets. Okay, do the same thing here. And then do the same thing for these two pieces and these two pieces on this shoe right here. And just like that, you have created a Vans template for a new Vans pattern design. All right, so the assignment today is to create five other templates. Okay, so these five that are blank. Create the patterns to fill those in. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.